You've all heard the routine warnings about bending your knees and lifting with your legs. We see people lifting boxes to demonstrate the proper technique. Those techniques are still correct, but we don't always pick up a box, or the item we want to lift is sitting under a storage rack or other difficult position. There's no magic formula. All you need is a good attitude about safety and are willing to think about safety every time you lift anything. First, let's talk about the mechanics of the back. Each disc is a circular pad filled with gelatinous substance under pressure. The disc works like shock absorbers or springs that provide a linkage to the vertebrae or bones but prevents any sliding of one vertebra against another. The spinal cord is a bundle of nerves in a protected vertical passage behind the disc area. The normal range of spinal movement is shown here, while bending forward and backward. You can see the nerve roots are in a vulnerable position because the spinal cord must bend and flex without the vertebrae slipping out of alignment. As you bend and move, your discs are working, just like the shock absorbers in your automobile. Discs can become damaged through excessive twisting, turning, bending, and when this happens, the disc may spring a slow leak. Now as the fluid leaks out, you can lose disc pressure. This loss of pressure in one disc can affect the entire linkage. Okay, let's talk about those muscle strains. Actually, when you stretch, ligaments in your back stretch also. Now if you stretch too far, these ligaments may tear or overstretch. Many times we must lift something over our head, so you're going to stretch your arms to reach the object. The best way would be to set the lifted object on a table or other support. Then reposition the object so your arms are doing the lifting, not your back. Arching the back during a lift makes nerve roots susceptible to pinching. Just remember how the discs protect the back and try to make the lift with your back as straight or in a normal position as possible. When you do this, the discs can do their job without damage and the ligaments aren't stretched so far that they'll tear. The back works like any other machine on the lever principle. You have a load and a counter load. The load you're lifting and your back balanced on a pivot point or center of gravity. The heavier the load, the more counterweight you need or some position to help offset that load. The back has a 10 to 1 ratio to the object you're lifting. If an object you're lifting weighs 10 pounds, it's going to take 100 pounds of pressure in your back to lift the object. This puts a lot of pressure on those delicate discs. Add in more weight, more length of the lever or an awkward position, then you're adding much more pressure on those discs and, of course, the ligaments. That's why you hear safety and medical personnel telling everyone to bend your legs and squat down near the object you're going to lift. This keeps the discs lined correctly between the bones. Lift the object slowly to prevent any jerking movements that can cause discs to move out of their proper alignment and bring the object close to your body. This reduces the lifting pressure based upon the 10 to 1 ratio of the lever. The closer the load, the less pressure it takes to lift. You have a good grip. The object is close to your body. Now stand up. You're using your leg power to do the lifting, not your back. Now, how about the more difficult lifting situations, such as trying to lift different types of objects in a less than ideal situation? Let's take a look. Did you notice how he used his free hand to provide support for some of the lifting? Anything you can use to provide additional support is great for your back. How about trying to install a car battery into an automobile? You have to be standing to get the battery over the fender and into the battery case. Can't bend your legs on this one. The next best thing to do is move your legs against the car's fender. This provides good support and assistance to your back when the battery is lowered into the case. Whenever you have a particularly difficult load to lift, you can use your good judgment and make the right decision how to lift properly. Naturally, if the load is too awkward or heavy for one person, get some help. Twisting your back while lifting is extremely dangerous. Find another way to lift, because it only takes one wrong way to cause a problem. Back injuries can be prevented, but you're the only person who has control over your well-being. The most important part of safe lifting, 
Actually, any type of job and home safety is having the right attitude about safety and thinking about safety before you perform each task. Take time for safety because it's important to you, your family, and your job. Thank you.